The stock market has become very volatile. Are you feeling a little panicky? Is it different this time? Caution. What's in your portfolio? If you don't know, you should. If you want to know, we can help. Here's what's moving the markets and your money. I'm Charles Brown. It's Wednesday, February 14th, and this is CB3 on 3. It goes without saying that the 15 months since President Trump was elected were all positive months of performance in the stock market. And that 15 straight months is a stock market record. But here we are in February 2018 and the market has changed. If you've looked at your accounts, I bet you already know that. So this month, we're going to look at the four, four keys to understanding what you own. You're going to learn and understand these four keys and that will help you understand what you own and it can help you prepare yourself for market ups and downs, also known as market volatility. Last week, we talked about key number one, knowing your investments. This week, it's key number two, understanding asset allocation. Asset allocation is an investment portfolio technique that aims to balance risk and create diversification by dividing assets among major categories such as cash, bonds, stock, real estate, commodities, and derivatives. Each asset class has different levels of return and risk, so each will behave differently over time. So instead of stock picking, you should start by deciding which mix of stocks, bonds, commodities, alternatives, etc. you want to own. As you can see on this graph, there are many choices that face you. This is referred to as your asset allocation choice. In other words, your actual selection of stocks or bonds is secondary to the way you allocate your assets to sectors in the economy, high and low risk stocks, short and long term bonds, and to cash on the sideline. The risk return trade off is at the core of what asset allocation is all about and it's vitally important for your success as an investor. It's easy for everyone to say that they want the highest possible return, but simply choosing the assets with the highest potential return isn't always the right answer. The crashes of 1987, 2000, 2008, and the more recent declines of February 2018 are all examples of times when investing in only stocks was the highest potential return possibly, but was not the most prudent plan of action. Let me give you an example. A friend of my client, George, called me and told me she was concerned that she was having trouble sleeping since the market high on January 26, 2018. When I asked her why, she said her portfolio had dropped much more than she ever expected it to. When I asked how she was invested, she replied, well, I'm 100% in stocks and, and no cash, but the stocks that I own are supposed to be very conservative that don't go down much or even at all during a market downturn. Yeah. That told me two things. One, she didn't understand asset allocation. Two, she didn't know what she was invested in. And three, she needed to take a risk profile survey. So she did. What's your risk profile? You can find out taking just a few minutes to answer a few questions in this online survey. When you're done, you'll know a lot more about your own personal tolerance for risk, and you will then have a great starting point for developing your own customized asset allocation. So now you understand asset allocation. But what are the other risks that you need to be aware of before you buy the next stock or bond? How do you choose what to invest in? Investment risk is the topic for next week's video. Please plan to watch that key number three. It'll help you understand a lot more about your investing. And that's CB3 on three for Wednesday, February 14th. What's in your portfolio? If you don't know, you should. If you want to know, we can help. I'm Charles Brown and at CB3 Financial Group, we don't just manage your assets, we become one of them.